Hello everyone. I'm so excited because I'm finally getting to the number one request on my channel, which is an eyebrow tutorial. Strange enough, I don't mind it. I love it. I'm currently in Kuwait, so please enjoy my video. If you like it, don't forget to hit the like button and hit me up on all social media. Um, your girl Blush Comp is coming to you from Kuwait. Take care. Okay everyone, let's get started. We're here we have the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Ebony for our eyebrow definer. This is what I use in order to brush and clean up my eyebrow. It's dual sided. My eyebrows are very thin and very fine so I do use the eyebrow pencil to achieve the shape of my eyebrows. So now that we got them all brushed out, now we're going in with the pencil side, adjusting it to the length that we would like. Now the steeper or the more arched you want your eyebrow, the deeper in your inner eyebrow you would start. So here I'm creating my natural arch or the arch that I would like to achieve. I take my time around the arch area just to make sure that it, I'm creating the line that I'm looking for. And I'll always start with the bottom line. The bottom line helps me guide when it comes to using the top line for the shape of the eyebrow. Periodically I stop just to make sure I'm going or getting the shape that I desire as I smooth it out. This pencil is one of my go-to's. You can purchase it at Sephora or at Anastasia online. I'm just going back in to make sure that that line is defined before I move on to the next step. And then I do the same with the other eyebrow. Okay, so now that we have that part done, going in with BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Ultimate Brow Palette, I like to use what is one of the darkest shades on the palette. It is a powder along with an arched or angled brow brush. I just take a couple of dabs of that product and fill in what I have created for my eyebrow shape. And then of course, I do the same with the other eyebrow. Easy breezy. Now that we have that all done, starting to focus more on my eyelids or the base of my eyebrow, I'm going in with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Original Formula. I like to put this on right before I start to clean up my eyebrows. That way I know that I have primer on my entire lid.
Get that nicely smooth and rubbed in. And I try to avoid, I like to use my finger just for, you know, the warmth of helping the product go into my skin. Now time for the cleanup. Using a MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC45, I like to use that with a smaller angled brush. And I use that shade, even though it's a couple of shades lighter, I like to use it as a dual purpose because I also like to use it as my brow bone color. So I just clean up the base of it, trying to get a clean line. Now as you notice, the eyebrow that I've drawn on is not my natural eyebrow shape. So you see a couple of hairs there at the bottom. But you know me, at times I like to be a little extra. So I like to create my own eyebrows from time to time. I just use the concealer to clean that area up and to kind of camouflage my natural eyebrow hair. Of course, I'm a little klutz, so uh, I caught it just in time before it hit the floor. So that's perfectly fine. Moving on. Okay, now this is totally optional. I do like to clean up both bottom and top of my eyebrows just for a sharper and cleaner look. Going in with MAC Concealer Palette using a concealer in shade NW45. I like to um, take that same small angle brush and clean up the top side of my eyebrows. Now this concealer I do consider to be a couple of shades lighter. But that's okay because we blended in with our foundation anyways. taking care of that second eye, second brow, the other brow, you know. Checking it out right quick, going back in with the same product just to get a clean look, clean up any mistakes I've created. And there we have it, eyebrows done. So I hope you've enjoyed my makeup or my eyebrow tutorial. Um, I am working on, being that this is not my primary job, it is my primary hobby. So I'm working on being more consistent on getting you videos in a timely manner. But thanks for hanging in there with me. And don't forget to look me up on Instagram, Snapchat, and you know, all those shameless plugs. 
Until next time, don't forget to subscribe. Your girl.